After more than 40 years of travel, Voyager 2 has crossed the ultimate boundary, the edge of the solar system. Launched in 1977, this remarkable spacecraft was designed to explore the giant planets. Yet, long after it completed that mission, it kept going, pushing further into the darkness, until it left the sun's protective bubble behind and entered interstellar space. There, in a place where sunlight fades to a pale glimmer and distant stars burn brighter than our own, Voyager 2 made a discovery that continues to puzzle scientists. Beyond the heliopause, the invisible frontier where the solar wind surrenders to the pressure of the interstellar medium, the probe recorded something that should not have been there. Space, once thought to be nearly empty at this distance, revealed itself to be anything but. Voyager's instruments detected a sudden rise in plasma pressure, a powerful barrier of energy pressing back against the solar wind. It wasn't just a random fluctuation. It had form, structure, and endurance. To researchers, it appeared as though the spacecraft had brushed against a vast unseen wall. This strange frontier, dubbed a pressure wall, challenges long-standing theories of how the solar system interacts with the wider galaxy. Instead of a smooth transition into interstellar space, Voyager 2 revealed a chaotic and layered environment, shaped by plasma flows and magnetic turbulence. The spacecraft's readings showed twisting fields and shifting particle velocities, hinting at forces far more complex than models had ever suggested. It was as though the solar system were wrapped in a living skin, molded by galactic winds and unseen currents. One of the most startling findings came from its measurements of cosmic rays. Scientists expected galactic rays to surge once the probe left the heliosphere. Instead, they dipped. The pressure wall seemed to act as a filter, blocking or redirecting high-energy particles from the galaxy. If so, this invisible shield could play a vital role in protecting Earth and its neighboring planets from dangerous radiation. Our world, it seems, may not only be sheltered by the sun's magnetic field but also by a far greater galactic structure we are only beginning to understand. Even more intriguing is how Voyager 2's experience differed from Voyager 1's. When its twin crossed into interstellar space in 2012, the shift was sharp and sudden. Voyager 2's passage, however, was gradual, marked by this unusual high-pressure boundary. The contrast suggests the edge of the solar system is not a uniform shell but a shifting, irregular frontier warped and reshaped by galactic forces beyond our comprehension. This revelation changes how scientists think about interstellar space. Instead of a calm, featureless expanse, it now appears to be a dynamic and unpredictable environment. The discovery of the pressure wall forces physicists to re-examine their assumptions about plasma, magnetic fields, and the way stars interact with their cosmic neighborhoods. If every star is surrounded by such boundaries, each shaped differently, they may profoundly influence the environments of distant worlds and even the potential for life elsewhere in the galaxy. Voyager 2 was expected to fade quietly into the night beyond the solar system, sending back routine data until its power ran out. Instead, it uncovered a mystery, a living, shifting frontier that no theory had predicted. What began as a mission to the outer planets has become a journey into the unknown, reminding us that the universe still holds surprises far stranger than we can imagine. Voyager 2's journey into interstellar space has become more than just an engineering triumph. It has opened a doorway into a region of the cosmos that defies imagination. What began as a mission to the outer planets has turned into a decades-long voyage of discovery, and the probe's latest findings may reshape the way we think about the galaxy itself. Instead of finding a clean boundary at the edge of the solar system, Voyager 2 uncovered something far more complex, a pressurized, dynamic region that pushes back against the flow of solar wind. This discovery suggests that the edge of our solar bubble is not a simple border but a reactive, layered membrane. Magnetic fields twist and bend, plasma streams collide, and particles swirl into chaotic patterns that trap and accelerate energy. 
These interactions help explain some of the strange bursts and radio fluctuations Voyager has reported. Signs that this boundary behaves less like an empty void and more like a storm front. For future exploration, the implications are enormous. Any spacecraft heading beyond the sun's influence will have to cross this turbulent barrier. Communication systems, power reserves, and shielding technologies will need to account for unpredictable surges of energy and particle bombardment. Remarkably, Voyager 2 was never designed for such extremes, yet it continues to endure, a silent ambassador carrying human ingenuity into a realm no other craft has touched. Still, the mystery remains. Is this pressure wall a permanent fixture sculpted by the galaxy itself? Or is it a shifting phenomenon created by the sun's passage through denser regions of interstellar space? Could it be the product of magnetic reconnection on a cosmic scale, or perhaps the echo of ancient shockwaves from long-dead stars? With only two probes moving outward, and in different directions, the full three-dimensional picture of this frontier remains hidden. Voyager 2's stream of data offers only a glimpse of a vast, unfinished puzzle. The task for scientists now is to rework their models of the heliosphere to include this strange, reactive edge. Instead of treating the boundary as a smooth cutoff, researchers must imagine it as a breathing, layered interface. Its behavior mirrors other cosmic mysteries, black hole accretion zones, solar flares, and turbulent plasma flows seen throughout the universe. If the edge of our solar system functions like a living interface, then interstellar space itself may be far more active and unpredictable than anyone believed. The significance of this moment cannot be overstated. Voyager 2 is more than 40 years old, yet it is revealing a reality no one expected. Its encounter is like an explorer crossing a final mountain ridge, only to find not a quiet plain beyond, but a roiling, uncharted ocean. The discovery is as humbling as it is breathtaking, a reminder that the universe still guards its deepest secrets. This encounter also changes how we understand the very idea of interstellar space. It is not simply the emptiness beyond planets but a transitional realm shaped by invisible forces. The sun still whispers its influence here, fading but not gone, while galactic currents press inward. Voyager 2 has peeled back one of these layers and revealed a cosmic frontier alive with motion. A boundary that seems less like a wall and more like a heartbeat. Looking forward, the implications ripple across science. If every star has such a complex shield, then each planetary system exists within its own unique cocoon, shaped by galactic winds and magnetic storms. These boundaries could determine how much radiation reaches inner worlds, whether atmospheres survive, and how habitable planets evolve. In this sense, the nature of the heliopause may be as crucial to life as the warmth of a star or the orbit of a planet. Voyager 2's impossible encounter stands as a reminder of the cosmos's unpredictability. After decades of careful planning and countless models, the universe has once again delivered the unexpected. The pressure wall at the edge of the solar system is not just a scientific puzzle. It is a challenge to our imagination. This lone probe, drifting slowly through the dark, has brushed against something vast and alive, as if pressing its hand to the pulse of the galaxy itself.